What is going on everyone? My name's Boyt and I'm back with some more Age of Mythology, the retold action. It's not the, is it? It's just retold. I'm never going to get used to it. All right. Isis here for Tudison in the blue color at the bottom of the map in the red color playing as Hades. He's calling himself Giovanni Dotti, but he is better known as Scotty. Scotty the Great, Scotty the Wise, Scotty the Powerful here on the map anatolia uh i love this map this is gonna be my first look at water here oh very very excited to see how things are gonna be shaping up for uh for these players as we do see both player both players look like nope we see uh tunison going to the bottom side of the map here he's gonna be getting himself fishing ships down the bottom and uh Giovanni Dotti scardi is going to the top side of the map here to get himself uh, his his fishing ships up the top. Uh, we do see some relics here. I haven't seen this one. Ulla's on it. This is a rename. Plus two range. Can't remember what the relic is called, but it is a rename there. Uh, it's a good relic. Definitely worth picking up. All right. So, the big question is, how do you approach this map from both sides of the coin? So, the, the Greek players will be used to playing water, Right? with getting themselves no gold in the Archaic Age. But now, Greek needs to get themselves 100 gold to get themselves a temple. So that timing of when to put villagers onto gold to mine yourself 100 gold is going to be really, really important because you also want to be getting yourself out as many fishing ship as you possibly can. Um, I think just from a mathematical standpoint, you either need to get villagers onto gold, uh, one villager onto gold by one minute into the game. That'll net you about a five minute advance time if you go one minute into the game or get two villagers onto gold at two minutes into the game. So that'll that'll net you the the, um, the same amount of 100 gold by the time you, you need to get the, the temple up and everything. Uh, the reason I know this is because one villager on gold uh, in... Age of Titans gets you the gold you need for a temple for a 416 advance time. So, or even a four minute advance time if you put it onto the gold mine at the start. So you're using some of that, some of that knowledge there uh, to, to figure things out. As we do see a, uh, a cheeky little dot coming up here. Oh, he goes for the walls. He can't get him. He can't get him as, uh, as Mr. Giovanni Dotti is already starting with the shenanigans. Uh, Scotty, he's known for his villager shenanigans. He loves a good villager fight. Uh, and and Tudison is on the back foot from the get-go. Uh, check it out over here. We've already got a whole bunch of fishing ships out for, uh, for Scotty. He's also getting this dock up on the bottom side of the map here. Uh, do we see Tunison on the left side? Yes, we do. Dock coming down there as well as the fishing ships are going to be moving forward to get just a little bit more stuff. Now... The one thing that I do know about the water on um, on Retold is that we get access to the Archer ship, we get access to the Ram ship, and we get access to the Siege ship, all in the Classical Age. So that's a really, really big change to how the water works. And I assume this is going to make it much more interesting to play on uh, as we see... Yeah, this is this is what I'm talking about. You need to get that gold in to get the um, to get the temple out, and you just like he just doesn't know how, when to put it onto the gold to get the amount out for the temple, and it's just going to be a really late advance here for uh, for Scardi on this one. As you see, the villagers they're shanking, they're shanking. It looks like I think Tudison is winning this one, uh, but I think they well does he really catch up? That's no, they, they have the same speed. They've got to have the same speed. All right, so Tunison gets uh, gets Mr. Scotty back on that one. And there's also this priest that can come over and the priest has got the ability to heal. So you can actually move over there and heal the, the villager up while that fight is going on for some serious advantage there, uh, I would assume. As uh, Tunison is trying to get some houses down. He's got plenty of population there, uh, but it is what it is. And do we see that advance time coming through here for either player? Jeepers, this is a very, very late advance. This is not something we're used to seeing at 
all uh, on Anatolia. Some very, very uh, exciting um, times ahead with uh, with build order creation and just like nobody really knowing what's good, what's bad, and just everybody just trying a whole bunch of random stuff out. Um, alrighty, so we'll see how things are gonna go. Doc's coming up over here for for Scardia as well, as he has managed to push that villager off of this position. Uh, I wonder if you can send this fishing ship. No, I don't think you can re. I don't think you can build docks with fishing ships anymore here with um the with the Egyptian fishing ships. You could build them on the Titans, but on Retold, there is no ability to build docks here. So you have to use your villages. There's not going to be any opportunity for sneaky docks to come up at all. So we'll see how much that influences things here. And we do see Athena coming through. Bast has come through here for Tunison. This is going to be the first little look at Bast to come through. He gets access to this cheeky little Sphinx over here. And that's going to be an interesting one as this villager does manage to get the dock up. But the laborer will get chased down and will get picked off there. Um, and we'll see how things end up shaping up with uh, all of those boats about to come through that Athena is going to come through as well we see the triremes started up there for Scardi and we've already got war barges out here countering the uh, archer ships of Tunis and Tunis and going for what looks to be Kepnitz war barges to start this one off whereas we see the uh the, the Scardi ships, he is going for a couple of those triremes, and I imagine he's going to be getting himself some Pentacontas as well to try and deal with these uh, these war barges. The dock, too strong there, and uh, Tunison will have to retreat back. Meanwhile, on the bottom side of the map, we do see ramming galleys coming through as well as the Tunison cabinets as well as... Uh, Scardi going to be able to start pushing back here. Just one of everything seems to be the uh, the choice here. For Tunison. Can we go reveals here as well? Well, we can. Let's go. As the uh the unit's pushing forward, we will see the uh the, the ramming galleys. Okay, so here's the way the counter triangle works here. Ramming galleys beat uh siege ships, siege ships beat archer ships, archer ships beat ramming galleys or hammer ships. So you have to you have to micro that. That's going to be the big thing. It's not going to be a pullback micro, though that will be a thing as well as the Minotaur comes in, sacrifices itself to kill off that Sphinx there. And it's also going to move over here and get a little bit of damage onto the villagers here. Tunis are not paying attention in his main base, but the Minotaur will fall to some arrow fire there. And as the pressure still mounting onto this position as well, as it looks to me like Tunison, he is about to win on this position here as well, taking out the first dock here of uh, of Scardi, of Giovanni Dotti, as the ramming galley is going to push through brutally here, and Scardi is now on the back foot in a big way. His only real good recourse now is to either all in on the top side of the water, sack the bottom, or throw down a whole bunch of town centers and get some aggression onto the uh, onto the land here to get some um, villager kills and try and equalize on on income moving forward. But we'll see if he can manage to do that or not. Is he still building stuff out over here? Looks like he's cut everything onto this bottom side. The fishing ships are going to be getting taken out here. And the units here from uh, Scardi now pushing forward. Will Tunison go for he's going for the heroic age he's getting that nephthys out he's pushing up onto this top side of the map here but he is getting pushed back in a big way a lot of those siege ships are out here for uh for scardi at the moment but he's still going to deal with the ramming galleys and everything else that's coming through here if uh if tunison can get out enough of these ramming galleys he will be able to clean up this army of Scardi very very quickly as we do see the restoration coming down it looks like every single one of those boats that to, um that Scardi had here do go back up to full hp as the uh ramming galleys pushing through going to get taken out there's the heroic age coming in will we see that stock standard ancestor eclipse on the economy there's already a second town center coming up here for tunison to boot here as well No game sound. There we go. We fixed the game sound. <laughs> I don't... Looks like my stream live's just reset itself. Uh, thanks, guys. Appreciate that one. Um, 
All right, market down as well. We see the siege works coming up. Remember the market here, um, it's not going to unlock Heroic Age or Mythic Age, but it does unlock the Heroic Age here, uh, I believe, as we are seeing now the Heroic Age coming through for Scardi onto that position there as the Doc's getting taken out over here as well. Sentinel's coming down onto this position as the Scorpion Men does get pushed back here. And more units going to be coming through. What's the plan here for Mr. Tunison at this moment as the Ancestors Eclipse stock standard? I'm telling you, this is this is classic Age of Mythology here. The strategy is exactly the same. Not exactly the same. It's def definitely there is a lot of differences, but you can still do the same tactics you did before. Ancestors Eclipse on the economy. Semi-fast heroic here from the Isis. Really going to be putting a lot of pressure onto Scardi here. Scardi going to be cleaning up all of this water on the top side, though. Meanwhile, on the bottom side, we still haven't seen Tunis and getting all of the um, all of the damage here. Now, we do get out a Nemean line, and this unit is cool. If we can get over here and get that special ability onto those minions, does a lot of damage and stuns them here. Look at that. They all get stunned for a very short amount of time onto this position, but they're still going after villagers here uh, as, I mean, Scardi, he's in a tough position. He's got zero food in the bank. He's been idled for a very long time in the economy here. And now we see another town center coming in for Tunison. He's going to be on three town centers. He's getting barracks out as well. I haven't seen a Migdol stronghold just yet. He's going to need one as he's going to throw it down onto this position. Now, the big thing, though, is that Scardi, he's got himself Heroic Age as well. So he will be able to push back. And where on the Titans, having a three town center to one town center lead just gives you so much population. It's such a ridiculous edge over your opponent. In Retold, you just get so much population from houses that that lead doesn't really start coming into it until much later on. So if you just sneak these town centers up, you've still got to get a whole bunch of units out to actually take advantage of the extra population you're getting. So it's not a, a, an automatic win to just grab town centers in the center of the map anymore. Scardi will be able to push back here, most likely. As we do see Scardi getting himself some fishing sh uh, fishing ships out. Now, you do also get out of the dock, if I take a quick look here. Um, it's not going to show me what I can build in terms of upgrades there. But I'm pretty sure you can get yourself your fishing upgrades in the Heroic Age. Now, it's one of the big differences is that a lot of the Classical Age upgrades were moved to the Heroic Age. That includes your... Uh, shaft mine, your bow saw, um, and and the fishing upgrades as well. So we do see the uh, Hippias coming through, trying to put some pressure on to this location. Curse gets dropped down, taking everything out here. Definitely want to be targeting down that Pharaoh over here. Do we see some spearmen coming out? Yes, we do, in an attempt to get over here and uh, and defend. Big question here from Peking Panda. Do AOM original build orders work the same for retold? Not really you can take the same concepts like but there's no hunting dog so the exact build order doesn't really work anymore but you can kind of you have to use a brain a little bit to adapt it but it's not that different it's very very similar in terms of what you can get away with um i think at the very least all right, Tunison now, he's still pumping out all those villages from all those town centers, he's losing everything. You do see that, oh, here's another change coming through. Look at this. This is not Dionysus. This is, uh, this is Aphrodite, and you get the Skylar nonetheless. Absolutely huge. So, Heroic Age from any Heroic Age god means free water myth unit. Big, big deal there for, um for strats and everything else. As we do see a Monument to the Priest coming up on this location here from Tunis in an attempt to defend himself from any sort of Mythic Age timings that might come through from Skardi. Skardi's now on two town centers himself, trying to just raid villages as best as he can. He does have the school lead, even though he was taken out in a big way early on the bottom side of the uh, of the water. We do see a cheeky little dot coming through from Skardi as he's trying to push out here as well as a fortress in the center of the map. This is generally when players lose on Anatolia, it's in the center of the map. It's on the second gold mine. But with uh, Scardi getting up a fortress here, this is going to be really, really challenging for Tunison to, to beat. We are seeing war elephants coming through. There is access to siege towers as well. So that's going to be a big help. 
in trying to kill this off as uh, we see now the fortress is up. And look at the damage it does. 17 damage. Wait, how much damage a second is it? 17 damage a shot. 51 pierce damage a second. That is gigantic. And here's the other thing. It appears as though, and I could be wrong about this, it appears as though... My lag. No. Oh, no. It's crashing. Oh, it, it could do it. You could do it. Come on. Come on, PC. Come on, laptop. Get through it. You've done it before. <laughs> oh, no. Wait, wait. We're crashing. We're so crashed. <laughs> oh. Well. <laughs> it's been fun, guys. <laughs> oh, we're back. Yes. <laughs> we didn't crash. Let's go. <laughs> Let's go. I've got no idea what that was. <laughs> but the uh, the fortress is still staying alive here, but the siege tower is cleaning this one up. And this looks like now Scardi has been pushed off of the middle. And now he's got only this gold mine left. He's really struggling for army uh, military value at the moment as the Isis of Tunisian is sitting up at double the uh, economic, uh, double the economy here. As we see some archery rangers coming down in a desperate attempt to get some Toxodes out here. And the Siege Tower is going to break through these stables. And we do see Scardi in that moment deciding the game is lost. Tunison too far in front on this one. Isis still reigns supreme on Anatolia. But let me just say, this was not the most efficient of Anatolia games if I've ever seen one. Where was the, where's the timeline? Where's the technology? Look at this classical age from both players. Six minutes here, six minutes and 30 seconds. I, with you starting an extra villager, I expect the 515 advance to just go to five minutes. Um, I don't see any other difference here on this map. Uh, you, you're going to definitely be able to get that advance time. And once you clean that up, I feel like some of these like gaping advantages that come through from um, Isis might become less uh, less obvious or, or less strong because now you're competing on a, on a kind of uh, a more level playing field as the game is kind of designed. Anyways, if you guys enjoyed this game, please consider the following on the Twitch if you're on the YouTube, hit that subscribe button, and I'll see you guys in the next game.